The clock struck eight, and I knew it was time for my favorite treat, a mug of hot cocoa. It was a nightly ritual that had started since I was three years old. I always had hot cocoa at exactly eight, and I'd have a marshmallow or two with it. That night, however, everything changed. I made my hot cocoa and searched the cupboards for my bag of marshmallows, only to find it empty. My heart began to race, and I broke into a sweat. No marshmallows? No. It wasn't possible. It couldn't be. I always had marshmallows with my hot cocoa. I started to rummage around the cupboards, tossing aside boxes and cans. Maybe there were marshmallows somewhere I'd forgotten. Yet the more I searched, the more I felt myself panicking. I started tossing more cans and boxes to the floor as I emptied the cupboards. No marshmallows in sight. I started searching the shelves, throwing away forks and knives as I kept searching. Nothing. Soon the floor was littered with cans, boxes, and cutlery. Yet there was still no sign of any marshmallows. I clutched my hands in the fists and began to cry. This was terrible. I then got an idea. The fridge. Maybe there were marshmallows in there. Yes, I had to try. I simply couldn't live with myself otherwise. I opened the fridge with frantic speed and started to toss away all the useless food that was stacked inside. No sign of any marshmallows. This was starting to cause me to get dizzy with stress. I threw the contents of the fridge across the floor until I found myself staring, staring into emptiness. I broke down. No marshmallows. I couldn't believe it. I looked over to the counter and saw my hot cocoa. It was getting cold. Yet I... I just couldn't drink it without marshmallows. I was shaking all over. But then it came to me in an instant. I knew a place that had marshmallows. I looked down and patted my belly. Yes... There must be marshmallows in there, like a cookie jar. I, I mean, I just drunk hot cocoa the previous night, and the marshmallows must still be in there somewhere. I started to chuckle despite my tears and went on all fours, scrambling over the floor as I found what I was looking for, a large kitchen knife. Yes, that would do nicely. I started to shiver as I looked at that knife and sat down, starting to edge it towards my stomach. I was so happy. Soon I'd get my marshmallows and this nightmare would be over. I couldn't help grinning some more. And just as I was about to press that knife into my stomach, the kitchen door opened and my roommate entered carrying bags. For some reason, he dropped them in shock, looking at me as if I was crazy. I just stared back. Until I saw a small bag of marshmallows fall out from one of the bags. I dropped the kitchen knife and got to my feet as my friend started yelling something. I couldn't make his words out. It was all a blur to me. My friend ran out the room, and I could hear him in the other room calling someone, but I didn't really care. My focus was on the little bag of marshmallows. Smiling contently as I picked them up and started to head back to the counter. My friend kept shouting in the other room. Something must have spooked him, I guess. I just opened the bag of marshmallows and put them in the hot cocoa and took a sip. Yes... Yes, I, I do like marshmallows.